Hi. Hi. Uh, good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you're Noritsuna, right, from Japan? Yes, right. But I live in Taiwan. Oh, you live in Taiwan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's different. Uh, so who? What do you want to show us today? Oh. What I is the, this uh, device? Hey, I made a Panda Cloud. Hey, it's a Google App Engine on Panda Boards. Hey, it's product. Hey, I use six Panda Board. And As we can oh. see over there, oh yes, it's a rack with six Panda. Yeah, six Panda. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six Panda Boards from TI. What do you do? So you said it's a cloud? Yeah, panda Cloud? Panda Cloud. So hey, this system we use a Google App Engine. On my Linaro and Ubuntu OS. Okay. And this. Okay. But with some application, it's okay. one of Google App Engine application. Okay. okay. This is Code Reviews application. Okay. And okay. I measurement. Hey, oh yes, let's compare that to um, okay, IS server. So let's compare that to uh, an x86 server. So, wow. So you say 50 watts against 257 watts? 57, 50 watts. Oh, so I see you have a power meter. Uh, power can we can can we can we check that? Oh, a power meter. It's not, uh, now it's a uh, 35 watt. So it's even less. So that that's actually the is it the this, this is a uh, all panda model run on a uh, uh, um, uh, Google bench. Uh, this is a uh, idling mode. <laughs> oh yes. So it's the worst case that uh, at at top yes. activity. Yes, okay. um, okay. I use my these my hardware and software. Panda board, Linaro, and my Typhoon AE, and Google App Engines. What's Typhoon AE? Typhoon AE is a Google App Engines a porting project. Uh, to, to, our, to ARM, is that right? Yes, that's right. And oh, yes, and the stacks. And they use with the warehouse. Oh, my Google App Engine, MySQL, Memcache, my messaging tools, and HTTP servers. Wow. <laughs> so effectively, you're running a cluster. So is that does that mean that you can uh, run applications on multiple machines in a seamless way, like uh, you would do in a cloud? Yes. So this is a web browser that that controls the the cloud. Is that is that right? Yes, that's right. This URL is. And this load balancer you are here. This one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. The back end is my six pan. Six pan So the the load balancer is that PC that you that you yeah, showed to us. Load balancer is this machine. Ah, there's one panda that's uh, the load balancer. Okay, I get it. They have access to a my connect from PC, not to load balancer. Okay, so you make a request to the load balancer, quickly, there it comes. Okay, man, this way, man, connect to load balancer. Load balancer, hey, choose man, from, choose one from six pandas. Right. Okay, man, next, connect to man, one panda port. Okay, and man, from, hey, from, from, from data, data from, hey, this right. database and the result to a one. So the this database is the, on the first panda board? Yeah, as board. you say. Okay. Is the database on an SD card? Oh, SD card, yes. <laughs> Therefore, this is very slow. <laughs> <laughs> right, the SD cards are slow. Yeah. So now, what, I, what do I see? You see the. Sorry. Focus on the wrong thing. This is my, my issue. Issue is forming. Um, I think a hey, test issue on 005. Hmm. 
So is that what you yeah. have on the database? Yes, database. Okay. And my, and my this application will run on my each band of all right. Yeah, this is the first pandas cluster that I see. Mm. Uh, there are some some machines on the Lenovo website, uh, the validation validation farm as well, I believe. Yeah, I don't but know if they've been done quite like this. Right. So, the Google App Engine is that a Java? Uh, Java no Python. Python. Oh, Python. So does it mean you can run any Google app on that? Yes. Well, yeah. There's certain uh, types of. Uh, apps that you format for Google Apps, so it's, I think that's kind of a Django style Python application, right build? Yes. I told my your PC, they are sent to Thunderbolt mm -hmm. yourself. Let me watch the power consumption again, mm -hmm. 35, 36 watts, mm -hmm. that's that good, okay. 34, yeah, yeah you, you mm -hmm. can try perhaps to increase the load, oh, can you oh. No, oh. there's no way. It <laughs> stays cool. Anyway. Wow. So, any um, any any other application you might want to implement uh, with your panda panda clusters? Uh, Did you think about that? Yes. If you want to run other application, <laughs> this panda for panda cluster can run your application. Right. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a bit like a, a massive cluster of GPUs. I mean, given the the, the possibilities of the rendering possibilities of the the panda board, you could write um, a, a panda wall. Yeah, and I've seen a bigger wall in Europe. <laughs> so you could drive six screens, huge screens, with this. For for example, uh, that's quite nice. This this is a compact form factor. So tell tell me more about yourself. Uh, you you told me you are from OESF. What what is uh, OESF? What OESF is a non-profit company for embedded Android. <laughs> but this system is use uh, Ubuntu, <laughs> no Android. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Right. <laughs> because I I I'm supporting a Linux project now. Yes, you've been a. Uh, a long time, long time contributor to Lenaro, to Lenaro, advertising Lenaro, um, trying to make Lenaro popular in Japan, right? Oh yes, getting popular now. <laughs> okay, thanks to your advocacy, yes. you mm. talked in conferences, right? Yes. Oh, next month we will produce a Lenaro conference by myself, by us, by ourselves. In Japan or in, in Korea? Japan. Uh, in Taiwan. Uh, in, in fast in Japan. <laughs> next, okay. in next in Taiwan. Okay. Well, thank you. That's a nice device. I also have to say that Noritsuna was the winner of uh, the the best uh, device on the um, Lenaro technical showcase in Budapest at the previous Ubuntu developers Ubuntu Lenaro developer summit, and he had a nice uh, uh, turtle chasing human faces. <laughs> So we like uh, what you do. What you do, guys, it's uh, it's awesome. So what could you give us a hint about what your next projects are? Next project, are uh, we are making a brain control robot. Um, we use a brain oh, sensor yes. and a matu works robot. To <laughs> this is gonna be <laughs> awesome, <laughs> right? <laughs> So only controlled by by the power of your brain, uh, like turn left and right and only brain thinking, only thinking. <laughs> I've heard about those devices. You can buy a kind of helmet that reads your brain. Is that, that uh, yes? Uh, yeah, this is more like a, a head headset. Okay. And I use my panda board and mm, panda board. Okay, we are, we are look forward to seeing this in the next, uh, hopefully in the next uh, maybe, uh, Lenaro maybe, Connect. Maybe next Lenaro Connect in February. Right, <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much, Noritsuna. Thanks for, for your contributions. Right. Thanks. <laughs> and have, let's have a la last look at your system uh, that's blinking. It's, 
It's doing some some stuff. Okay, thank you.